Thanks to Hollywood and Disney, they have created false baselines of what our adult romantic relationship should be like. They even have us preferring to go with a bad boy who treats us terribly over a stable man that actually wants to love us for us. And the truth is, many of us didn't grow up in stable environments. We may have never experienced emotionally healthy men before, so that bar is set so incredibly low that we end up going through many relationships, wasting years of our lives before we sit down and think about the guys we should not be dating. Now, let me make this super easy for you with a collective list of all the men you need to avoid dating. Here we go, like and subscribe. Coming in at number one, the narcissist. He has a grand sense of himself. He assumes he's always right. He doesn't believe he is ever in the wrong and his ego drives him to overperform and charm the pants off everyone he comes into contact with. He's the guy that loves the sound of his own voice. He wants to have complete control over you and he won't feel comfortable if you try to better yourself. This could be starting a side hustle, he won't like it. Going to therapy, mm -mm. making new friends, going to the gym, anything that you do that is kind of showing him less of himself highlights his inner insecurities. The man-child. A lot of women who didn't have great relationships with their fathers or watch their mothers do all of the housework and pick up after their fathers and brothers end up dating the man-child. This type of man refuses to grow up. They want to be constantly cared for, looked after, and probably still has a mother who enables this behavior by caring for him in a very weird way. You can see them as men that have a teenage-like mind. They struggle to maintain a career, they lack discipline, can't keep their homes or their cars tidy, and are absent-minded. They will never be there to support you and will expect you to pretty much do everything for him. The Mother's Boy there is nothing bad about a man who has a healthy relationship with his mother. In fact, I encourage you to date someone like this. But a mother's boy is usually sweet and kind. He's considerate, but his mum will get in the way. She will want to look after him still and make you feel like you don't exist. He will struggle to see why it's inappropriate that she offers to wash his clothing still and buys him new pairs of boxer shorts and socks even when you guys live together. She plays a huge part in how he functions and he will call her about new clothing choices, furniture that he should buy for your house, pretty much any big decision. The Gold Digger Surprisingly, women are stunned to hear that there are men out there that like to leech off women. Society has made females out to be gold diggers and there is a danger of this. If a woman can date a man and then lets him off for this gold digging behavior because she doesn't believe it's a thing, then obviously she becomes used. Now the man does not have his finances in order. He's happy to let you pay for everything. He will struggle to pay you back, he is self-entitled and can find many excuses to not pay you back. Now I once lived with a guy that used me for my money. He just graduated and I let him move in with me whilst he got back on his feet to find a job. A good year went by where he didn't actually help me with anything. And whenever I brought up the fact that he doesn't contribute, his excuse was, you never asked me for money, so I didn't think you needed it. Or, I have not quite found a job yet, so I can't pay you. And believe me, when I realized he was using me for my money, the penny actually dropped and he went back to his parents' house the same day. The Freedom Seeker this guy is so scared of commitment that he assumes he loses his whole freedom and sense of identity the moment he becomes exclusive with you. This guy is against marriage and labels, but proceeds to expect wifey behavior from you. He will be charming, he will be successful, and he looks on the exterior like great husband material, but he enjoys being single and your awesomeness cannot change a thing. The Controller as the title reads, everything has to be his way. He wants control of everything, your money, how you spend the day, pretty much all of you. He always thinks that he can do a better job at pretty much anything. So you can expect him to try and take over the living arrangements, your career, your side hustle. He thinks he knows best and tries to intimidate you, hoping that you will just let him get on with it. He will be very jealous of you talking to other people as he lives in a constant state of insecurity and fear, so expect someone like this to manipulate you and to gaslight you often. The Emotionally Avoided Man Now this stems from an attachment trauma, most of the time created when his caregivers were either emotionally neglectful or too overbearing. He has learned that the emotions that he once felt caused pain and therefore chooses to shut them off. 
Now, of course, you cannot push down emotions. They won't stop. They will always come back for you to deal with. This man needs to be avoided as you will never feel comfortable or respected. He will always radiate push and pull behavior. Some weekends he's super sweet and then something pings in his brain and he realizes he's getting too close. He may get hurt, so he retracts again. And take my advice, you cannot change an emotionally avoidant man. Maybe through years of therapy and self-awareness, possibly so, but it's not your job to wait for him to change or encourage him to change. The lazy guy. Someone that is so laid back he does nothing, doesn't care about commitments, birthday arrangements, he forgets everything and struggles to communicate with you. He enjoys his life this way and he will not see any reason to change anytime soon. Plus, people around him may enable his poor behavior. They could laugh and joke and say, mm, James is so forgetful, he always arrives 20 minutes late to everything. This just enables his behavior. Rather than saying, hey James, you're constantly late, which delays our plans for the rest of the day and we're not gonna wait for you any longer. So if you turn up late and we're not here, buddy, well, we've already set off without you. The liar. This man is a chronic liar. No lie is too big or too small. He can't help but lie about everything. This is a very deep manipulation tactic in order to control everyone. You will find that he's never consistent with anything he says and he doesn't want to open up to anyone because he might embellish stories or if he talks, it's literally just a web of lies. The baller. This man loves to show off his riches and of course, there's nothing wrong with someone expressing good taste. Maybe this guy really does have a lot of disposable income and that's how he likes to keep himself happy. However, if he is a baller that likes to brag about his finances, he has a lot of insecurities deep down and he likes to use his money as a way of gaining social control. And if they feel that they are a big man at all times, it will be easy for him to replace you with someone else because, well, he will have access to lots of attractive people. Someone that is constantly used to getting their own way with money struggles to respect others around them because they enjoy the immediate gratification that money gives them and they are just a very unhealthy person for you to date. The Cheater I'm sure you've heard this saying that once a cheat, always a cheat. And personally, I like to give people three strikes. People can only learn through their mistakes, right? However, if a certain guy continuously cheats on his partner, it's a sign you shouldn't date because history could repeat itself. If he struggles with being honest, if he struggles with relationship compatibility, there is a lot more going on on an emotional level that he needs to work through. You will find that this type of guy is amazing at charming women. He knows what women like to hear and he will hmm, always get his way with women unless he tries it on with you and your independence will say, mm -mm, no, thank you. The married guy. If a guy is already taken, you should never consider it. It should be an immediate no. It doesn't matter if he says that he's waiting for the divorce to finalize. It doesn't matter if he told you that he lives in a separate bedroom. Don't discredit this and don't disvalue yourself by dating a guy that is already in a relationship. For all you know, he could be lying to you and is clearly cheating on his girlfriend or wife without her knowing. And why would you choose a man that is taken over a single man, right? You deserve so much more and you're not going to find what you need with someone that is already taken.